Well, hi again, everybody. Alongside Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sapolsky, and these guys have to be feeling good about themselves. They've just been promoted. Welcome back, everybody, alongside Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. They were recently promoted. Let's see if they've got what it takes to compete with the...
most curious EA SHL showdown looms here this evening. Hi, everyone. I'm James Sabalski alongside Ray Ferraro. Are they ready for prime time? They've moved up a division. Let's see if they can play. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while, and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Kootenay's got a hold of it along the wall. Giroux's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed from his netminder. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Jostles the puck loose. Great pass from the left wing. Can't get it to Doan. Moves it quickly over to Doan. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it to Leaf. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's get the call here. Nicholas is going off for tripping. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. Takes the bank feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that one's broken up. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Slides it diagonally to Giroux. Tosses it to Leaf. Sends a pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. With the bank pass. And makes the save. Taken by Giroux. With the steal. And manages to clear the zone. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Doan. And the man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back at even strength. Too passive. Not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. St. Petersburg's got the puck against the half wall. Takes the pass. Nice pass. With possession along the wall. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Play whistle dead because of an offside. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Quick feed to Giroux. Puck set across the blue line. Here's a pass down low. Trying to get back on the attack now. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. The Bulls scoop it up along the boards. Kootenay's got possession here in the offensive zone. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Kootenay's looking to break out of their own end. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Here's a short pass to Giroux. Puck scooped up by Giroux. He carries the puck up along the wing. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Michaels won the draw here in the neutral zone. Slides it over to Panarin. Carries it across the line. Shot, and they score! You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time, it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Pokes it away in his own end. Harris has it in the defensive end. From the neutral zone now. Passes the puck over to Voracek. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. And that's broken up. Gets it out of his own end. Puck grabbed by Giroux. 
True stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Leaf. Here they come on the attack. St. Petersburg's got the puck in their own end. A chance to clear. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Here's an offensive chance. And that one's blocked. Pass right in front. What a great read breaking up the pass. Nicholas carries the puck in his own zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Denies him with the kick save. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Quick pass to oh, all jam. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Voracek's taking it from his own end. Receives the pass. And there it is. 20 minutes is in the books of this one. Just a lone goal is the difference so far as we conclude the first frame. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Kootenay's got to sharpen up their play. They turned the puck over too many times in that first period. Probably pretty lucky to only be trailing by one. The Bulls gain possession in their own end. Back on a stick now. Oh, what a stop! Oh, and another big stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. We're still in the early stages of this period. one nothing the score. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. Denies him with the save. Underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Kootenay's got the puck along the boards. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. This is a good old fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you got to move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. The power play unit goes right back to work. They've been running around trying to get this game tied up. They earn a power play, and now they'll have that chance. Quick puck movement always seems to work best for them. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Jones got it against the boards. Whacks away at the loose puck. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to Voracek. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall and manages to clear the zone. Time winding down here. One last chance with this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. They've got to get it into the zone quickly. Their teammate jumps out of the box. We are back to even strength, and the penalty-killing unit gets it done with that one-goal lead intact. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A chance to tie. They don't cash in, and now we're back to five-on-five. Five. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Great positioning by the defender. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. That's going to be frustrating for him. He was in a position to deliver the puck, but he lost it. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone.
Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Up along the wing. Here's a short pass to Voracek. From the point, they take control of it. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Grabbed along the board by Voracek. Moves it quickly over to Doan. And he makes the save. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to Voracek. Shuts him down. Takes it across the blue line. The Bulls have it against the wall. And that's a great read to pick off the pass. St. Petersburg's in another close game. One of the reasons is positionally they're in the right place at the right time to intercept pucks. There's the physical side. Kootenay's got a hold of it along the wall. Move to the middle. Swing and a miss. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Skilly's going to play it against the half wall. Kootenay's got control of it now from their own end. Sends the pass over. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Picked up along the wall by Giroux. Feeds the puck over to Leaf. Quick pass to Leaf. And now it's grabbed by Giroux. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Bulls take possession here in the open ice. He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes control of the puck. Scoops up the puck now. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Sends it quickly to Agostino. Puck picked up by Giroux. Quick feed to Voracek. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Here's a short pass to Michael. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. And the middle frame almost done. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. In the final moments of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Kootenays had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bitten as they trail late in this second period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Blocked in traffic. Quick feed down low. Big time stop there. Horn sounds to end the second period. 40 minutes in the books, and it's still a 1-0 game. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Kootenay's pace and effort makes me think they're going to find this tying goal here, James. They've had the puck most of the first two periods. With authority. Slides it across. Scores! The captain comes through! This is why you keep your head on a swivel. Defensively, you've got to find where the open man is. Otherwise, you've got a guy standing there pounding a one-timer from the high slot. St. Petersburg's goal here early in the third has now given themselves a two-goal lead. Coaches are pretty happy with this start. You come out of the intermission leading by one, and you tell your team, get after it, be aggressive. They were, and now they lead by two. And now he angles it across to Panarin. Coughs it up on the play. Through center along the wing. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Pass deep inside the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. 
Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Lots of time left in this period. St. Petersburg's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Moves it quickly over to Doan. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Carries it in. With the steal. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Oh, reads it perfectly. Here's a chance. Centering pass. That goes off the stick. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Scores! Uh, the mountain looks a little less steep now. They get to within one with that marker there. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Bulls get a hold of it. Centered out in front. Scores! What a shot! Now you just stop thinking about the first goal. Now you got another. That's 30 seconds apart. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. Kootenay's finally made this all square in the third period with a much-needed tying goal. Starts to get frustrating after a while when you do the right things over and over and you never get rewarded. Finally, they score. And now in the last half of the period, they'll try to impose their will and find the winner. Denies them on the play. Harris plays it now. Moves the puck. Over the line they come. Takes the puck at the point. On the one-timer. And that shot goes off the side of the net. Moves it to Michael. Moves the puck across to Panarin. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Too much congestion in front. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Kootenay's gained possession along the boards. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. Let's see what the official says here. Agostino's been nabbed for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Tries to get it out of the zone. And that's knocked down at the point. That looked like it was going to go out. Now they've got to regroup and get themselves back into position. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Handles the puck. Into the corner of the attacking area. Quick pass to Doan. Sends it down low. Moves right to the middle. He scores! They break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been level. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Michael. Puck picked up in the open ice. Kootenay's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Picked up along the boards by Giroux. Grabs the puck at center. Play rolls on. St. Petersburg's looking to break out of their own end. Takes the feed. Right up front. On the backhand. Big save. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Here in the late goings of the period, the Bulls have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Hammers it on net. Score! in the game where you think they're not going to be able to find the equalizer. But they stay at it, and they get it done. St. Petersburg's answered back here late in the third. Huge third period goal to tie things up. They've really worked hard and deserved this spot in the game. Now we'll see at even do coaches really shorten their bench out and start double shifting guys. A little back and forth. Slides the puck down low. Slides it across to Voracek. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. 
Taken along the wall by Giroud. Looking to make something happen at center. Takes it in front. And he can't get it off. Comes up with the stop. Picks it off. And they turn on the pressure. Here's a short pass to Doan. Under a minute to go on the third. Moves it quickly over to Leaf. And a great save. There's the go-ahead goal. And we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace. You push the other guys back on their heels. Followed through to the net. He picks up this rebound. Makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy. And he does not miss. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Blocked in front. Kootenay's got the puck. Pass right back. Voracek's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Quick feed down low. The Bulls have a hold of it in the defensive zone. St. Petersburg's ready to go on the attack. Passes it over to Voracek. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. A critical draw here. Leafs won the draw here in the offensive zone. Kootenay's got the puck along the boards. Great defensive effort with the strip. In front, the puck stopper gets on top of it. We'll get a little stoppage and play here. Yep. Goalies are going to jump on it as quick as they can any time around the front of the net. The Bulls lead it late in this third period. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Long jamming. It's in! He scores! Two goals in 50 seconds. So quickly on the board. Conversely, deflating for the other team. And that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Kootenay's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Puck possession, the name of the game in this one tonight, Ray. Really good job. They had the puck, they kept the puck, and when they didn't have a play, they seemed to put it into a place where they were going to get it next. They controlled the play and therefore controlled the game. And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.
alongside Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Well, they were promoted up a division because of their play. Can they carry it over tonight? We'll find out as we drop the puck on this EASHL matchup. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Giroux's got the puck along the wing. Moves it to Voracek. Giroux's lugging the puck. And he slides it quickly to Voracek. Connects with picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. Denies him on the breakaway. Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie. But the goalie's better. He makes the stop. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Centered out in front. He scores. Well, this is the sign of things to come. Well, I hope so. I love goals, James. This one is quick. And it's already on the board. 80s hockey, here we go. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Grabs it in his own end. Handles it again. Ferris moves the puck. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Feeds it down low. Quick pass to Agostino. Directs it on over to Nicholas. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Quick feed to Agostino. Agostino's moving the puck through his own zone. And now he moves it to Panarin. Slides the puck over. Kootenay's got the puck in their own end. Looks to make a play over to Voracek. Voracek's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Doan. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. St. Petersburg's been in the right position all game long. They've intercepted plays like this since the beginning. Moves it quickly over to Voracek. Moves the puck along the half wall. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Look out! Nicholas takes it inside his own end. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. Doan's going off for interference. If he makes the same play but keeps his feet rolling along, he's not going to get called for interference. Wasn't the case on this one, though. Trying to clear the zone and manages to clear the zone. Carries it across the line. Big play inside the defensive zone. And here's the pass to Panarin. Here's a blast. And he comes up with a huge stop. Past the halfway mark of this period. 1-0 the score. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. On the heels of their blades trying to get it out. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. That goes off the post and stays out. That knocks him off the puck. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Kootenay's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Moves it to Voracek. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Doan's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Moves the puck down low. The Bulls scoop it up along the boards. Giroux's got the puck in his own zone. St. Petersburg's got possession here in the neutral zone. Rocked on the play. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Giroux stick-handling in his own zone. Quick pass to Giroux. This is he got all of that hit. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. 
Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Here they come on the attack. Here inside the offensive end, takes the feed from along the boards. Turns it away. Smothered that in close chance. Here in the late going of the frame, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, great play to use the wall, handling the pass. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. Great heads-up play in the defensive zone. Grabs the puck. Quick pass to Panarin. Skilly's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck, you get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the first period comes to an end. 1-0 is the score as both teams make their way to their respective rooms. Second period set to get underway. The Bulls win the draw as this period is underway and their power play goes back to work. Intercepts it at center and manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Dishes it to Michael. Quick feed to Agostino. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Gets it out of his own end. Sends a pass over. He scores! That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice, get themselves a short-handed marker here. Michaels won the draw. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Oh, makes the save! That was a rocket! Voracek's gaining momentum. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Voracek. That's probably not what they were planning on the power play. They serve up a shorthanded goal with the special teams unit, but now both teams back to even strength. Well, now they got a bigger... Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And manages to clear the zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Here's the chance to set up now. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Referee signaling for a penalty. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Slides the puck across to Doan. With possession along the wall. Sends the pass down low. Here's a pass down low. Doan's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. To the Penalty has expired. Both sides back to even strength. Here comes the call. Pretty easy call to make for hooking right here. Well, he gets a stick around his waist. Then he stops skating. It's almost like he's advertising for the penalty. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Kootenay's gained possession along the boards. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. And now he moves it quickly to Giroux. 
Let's it go. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, Ray. Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. Gets it out of his own end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the pass from the boards. Let's it rip! And too much traffic in front blocks Score! that one. Scores! They deliver big time with the man advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quickly. That's a nice goal. Kootenay's had the puck on their stick all night, and when they haven't, it's generally been in the back of the net. They've taken the opportunities, and they've capitalized. I mean, they've had the puck a lot, James, but they've not missed much. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Leaf. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Bulls have taken control of this one, now leading by three. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Moves it quickly over to Leaf. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Trying to shake the defender. He's clear. Scores! A short-handed goal! Well, you're just trying to kill the penalty off. This is terrific work as they take advantage of a little bit of a bobble, and they go ahead and capitalize short-handed. St. Petersburg's given themselves something that everybody in sports longs for. Hope here, Ray. Hope? A chance? Hey, it's here. Something! Time isn't the enemy yet. Moves it to Doan. Slides the puck across to Giroux. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to Lee. Scores! His second of the night. Well, things go well for you if you are scoring multiple times in a game. This has been a terrific night for him. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Passes on over to Nicholas. Nicholas takes the puck, and now he passes up to Panarin. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Kootenay's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Takes the pass. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Doan. Nice pass. St. Petersburg's got possession at center. Panarin's got the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the puck behind the net. Delayed penalty coming up here. Receives the pass. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. Charging the call on the play. Travel too much distance to make that hit. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Stick save. Quick feed to Michael. There's another stop. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. Here in the back half of this period, it's a 4-1 game. Setters jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Dones taking it from his own end. The Bulls gain possession along the wall. Kootenay's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a slap shot from the point. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. As the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Grabs the puck here in their own end. St. Petersburg's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Here's a blast! Yes. Special teams coming up huge on that goal! They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. St. Petersburg's got something to build on here as we approach the third period, Ray. Give them a little chance as they trail in this game, but man, they've got to be a lot better. 
Takes it across the blue line. Nice defensive robbery on that. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Bumped off the puck. Intercepts the pass at center. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Sends the pass over. Agostino's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Nicholas. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Here in the late goings of the period, the Bulls are still trailing by two. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Moves the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Scoops up the puck here. Moves it quickly over to Giroux. Handles the puck. Pushes it across to Voracek. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. This is training camp for you, buddy. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? St. Petersburg's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. St. Petersburg's got control of the puck. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play or covering up the puck. Oh, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. Lots of time left in this period. 4-2 is the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Scores! That's three! I have nine of these, James. It is such a cool thing to score three. You feel so good about yourself. Kootenay's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Dones moving the puck through his own zone. Puck lands back onto a stick. Moves it to Giroux. And there's the save. Oh, he ripped that right huh. after the whistle. What's he thinking? Underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Trying to get it out. The Bulls gain control of the puck against the wall. Blistering Whoa. shot! Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Kootenay's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Quick pass to Michael. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Circles back to center ice. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Bulls have added to their lead. They're now up by four. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Voracek. Carries the puck up through center. There's the whistle, icing the call. Leafs want it in their own end. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. 
and tries to make a diagonal pass to Leaf. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Sin bin down for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Well, this has been a bag of chocolates, hasn't it, James? You don't know what you're getting from this power play. It's just been average. Stops the rocket of a shot. Great reflexes, another save. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Here's the chance to get it out. Gotta be sure. Get it out. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the boards. From the top of the offensive zone here. With the tip. Here's a shot. Just slide to the net. Oh, I like this, James. They've really cycled the puck well on this shift. Now they can hold it, and you put the pressure on the defender. Eventually, they pull you down, or you get a great chance. Going after that loose puck by any means necessary. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. Gets more and more frustrating each power play that slips away in a particular game. They've had... He scores! There's the hat trick, and here come the hats! Man, it is loud in here. The guys jumped up on the bench as soon as that third goal went into the net. Past the midway mark in this period. St. Petersburg's got a long way to go to try to get out of this jam as they trail by three. Slides the pass over to Michael. The Bulls get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that banks off a stick. Taken by Giroux. And manages to clear the zone. Agostino's got it in the defensive end. Slides it to Michael. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Panarin. Kootenay's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Leaf. Into the corner now. Oh, what a stop! Agostino's got the puck in his own zone. And he moves it up to Panarin. Makes the save with the trapper. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Dishes it to Leaf. Puck scooped up by Voracek. Great defensive stick work on the play. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Getting into the later stages of this period. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. And now it's over to Agostino. Oh, here we go! Grabbed along the boards by Giroux. Into the corner with the steal. From off the wall and onto a stick. Moves it to Leaf. Picks it up and they turn on the pressure. On fire. Sometimes it's just your night. You shoot the puck, it goes in the net. He's had an unbelievable evening. St. Petersburg still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Along the half wall with the puck. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. And we got another stoppage in play for, guess what? Yeah, another penalty being called here. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Tripped up on the play, delay penalty coming up.
We got a timeout on the ice, allowing both teams to catch their breath here and regroup. A little four-on-four four coming up here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. And he scores! The Bulls have really been strutting their offensive prowess. You've been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Inside the zone, takes the cross ice pass. Harris is on the attack. Quick feed down low. Takes the feed, sends it down low. Quick pass to Voracek. Big save by the goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Panarin. Feeling all sorts of heat in the defensive end, trying to clear. Icing his calls, stopping the play dead. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. And that carries off a stick. St. Petersburg's got control of it now from their own end. And the puck is knocked away. Kootenay's got a hold of it against the wall. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Score! It's like an endless supply of goals. It does, doesn't ever seem to be a stop to this. If somebody scores, you know, or feel like there's another one coming very quickly. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. They had the puck a lot. They controlled it in the offensive zone. What I really like, though, James, and it, I think this mattered a lot as to the final score, is they didn't turn it over much at all. We hear the term puck possession an awful lot in today's game. They maximize their opportunities. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebulski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.